We are learning more about the long-term effects of COVID, and it's kind of disturbing. Scientists tracked nearly 800 people for several years, taking scans of their brains over time. Those who ended up with a COVID infection had big changes in the brain, shrinkage, an accelerated loss of gray matter, and a larger cognitive decline. Infectious disease expert Dr. John Swartzberg breaks it all down. It's a very important paper, and it's... Um at first blush, it's, it's quite disturbing. Uh, there were uh, a large number of people in the study that showed significant changes in their brains after having had COVID. And these changes um, remained significant um, up to about a year when the study ended. So, it clearly needs to be confirmed. We need a lot larger studies, et cetera. All those things are important caveats about it. But nevertheless, um, when they looked at uh, people who had recovered from COVID and did serial MRI scanning and cognitive testing, they showed differences between those folks and a reasonable control group. So if this data pans out, it's going to add another element to what we conventionally call long COVID. And that is uh, another set of problems that are long-term or may very well be long-term in patients who recover from COVID. In the meantime, though, before we get confirmatory data and more statistics, from a public health point of view, what's the most important step that one can take? Yeah, th this is just another one in the long line of arguments as to why it's so important not to get COVID. You know, people think, well, I'm at very low risk of getting hospitalized and dying. And if they're young and otherwise healthy and fully vaccinated and boosted, that's absolutely true. But I think an awful lot of people forget about the fact that even if they don't get hospitalized and don't die and even don't get a very serious illness, they, there may be long-term consequences to that illness. And we've known about these for a long time now. Throughout much of this pandemic, we know about the loss of smell and taste, and we know about brain fog, and we know about the fatigue. And there's a long list of things that are now associated with either subacute or chronic problems associated with COVID. And now with these findings, they add to that list. And these findings are really quite significant if, it, if they do pan out. Unfortunately, as we age, we're supposed to get a little bit of brain shrinkage. We're supposed to lose a little bit of our gray matter. What made this loss of gray matter um, interesting or different? Well, there were uh, some of the pathologic findings were a little different than what you see with just general aging. And the amount of gray matter lost compared to a control group matched for age um, was, was significant. So, you know, yeah, nobody likes to lose their gray matter, but we all do as we get older. And we certainly don't want anything to happen that would accelerate this. The bottom line to all of this is in my mind is that um, I don't want to get COVID. And the first thing that I've done to not get COVID is to get vaccinated and boosted. But that's not sufficient for me. I mean, I want, I want that protection, but I also want to have a little more assurance. So I'm still going to be very prudent in terms of the things I do. Um, I'm certainly not being as careful as I was six weeks ago or even a month ago. And hopefully as things improve and the numbers drop even more dramatically, I'll be doing a lot more things than I'm doing now. But I'm going to always have in the back of my mind, is this something that's really critical for me to do or really important for me? And is this something that I can do and at the same time prevent myself from getting infected by, for example, wearing a mask um, or being outside as opposed to inside? So I'm trying to parse out all these things because I just don't want to get COVID. The brain scans also show damage in regions of the brains associated with the sense of smell. It's unclear if these impacts can be reversed, even partially. More research is needed.